how to avoid getting sidelined before the summer gets started. And finally, thank you very much, Jackie. You are running out of time to get your emails to our expert. He's right there, getting mic'd up. After the break, our guest tells you how to fit safety into your workout. But first, when the going gets tough, the tough go gold. Say is hanging on three to two. Let's talk about more sports now. You know, the weekend warrior type. With summer, a whole lot more people are getting out and exercising. But just what is the best way to get that exercise without hurting yourself? Joining me to talk about that is Dr. Steve Katz, sports chiropractor who has worked with the Atlanta Braves and Atlanta Hawks. Welcome. Thank you very much. We've been asking questions from our audience. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and we got a lot of them, so we want to put one right up on the screen right now and get to that. Okay, this is from George in Detroit. I would like to use my treadmill, but I suffer from heel spurs on both feet. What options, medical or otherwise, can help me continue to use the treadmill? What are heel spurs? Heel spurs is a condition in which uh, an extra piece of bone is actually formed on the bottom of the heel. It's usually uh, preceded by plantar fasciitis. Oh. The best thing is is to, um, if, is to seek medical attention for it, and um, shoe inserts can help with that too to continue to exercise. So can you buy those shoe inserts at the drugstore or should you go to a podiatrist? You could try a variety of those, but a podiatrist would probably be the best option. And surgery would involve like shaving off those bone spurs. Right, but if the cause of the condition is not treated, then they'll just come right back. Gotcha, okay, next question. There it is. Hi, this is from uh, James. He says, what is the best cardio exercise to lose weight and how long should I do it and how many times a week? That's a very good question. Of course, uh, running or jogging is a very good form of exercise. If you have heel spurs, of course, it's going to be aggravated by running or jogging. Uh, the best thing to do would be find a high school track and run on the inside of the track where the soft part of the grass is. Make sure there are no holes, of course, so you don't twist your ankle. Um, <laughs> but but exercise bicycle is a very good way to uh, burn off calories as well. So you should do it what, three times a week? Three times a week would be the best, a minimum of about 12 to 20 minutes at a time. So see, that's not very much. No, you can get into not, great not shape. not bad at all. That's right. Okay, next question. Let's put it right up there. This is from Sharon from Texas. Can you suggest how to work around plantar fasciitis? I have been taping my feet, working on the recumbent bike, but the plantar fasciitis, am I pronouncing that right? Yes, you are. Goes on and on. Do you have any ideas? Now, I know what that is because I actually have that, but explain to people what exactly that is. Well, as I was saying earlier, that is actually the precursor to heel spurs. And the taping of the foot is actually trying to get arch support, and that will help. Again, a shoe insert, orthotic, will help but this person should seek uh, the attention of a podiatrist. So there's like a, is it a bone that runs down your foot lengthwise? Is it's, that... it's actually on the tip of the heel, but the plantar fasciitis, the pain, is more in the arch of the foot itself. Gotcha. So orthotics again, huh? Will help, definitely. Oh, because I've heard you should roll your foot on a tennis ball. Those are things that will help because the plantar fasciitis is actually irritation or inflammation. Um, however, if you don't treat it or treat the cause of it, it's going to continue to come back. Okay, next question. This is from KM. I have been trying to walk on a regular basis and have been stopped with pain in my right hip that wraps around my thigh. Are there any exercises that will alleviate or diminish the pain and will prevent this from happening again? There are many stretching exercises that can help. However, this kind of condition is usually structural in nature. So in other words, if a house structure is not proper, then there's going to be problems all the way up on the different floors. If the structure of a person, the hips being the foundation is off, then this will continue to come back. So this is a classic type example of going to a chiropractor, or it could be another condition too, but this person should seek, seek the help because it's probably a structural problem. Can improper form when you're running bring on these kinds of injuries? There's no question about it. Improper shoes, improper surface, uh, structural problems in the spine, there's a number of things that can aggravate a condition. And when you say improper form when you're running, people just think, well, geez, I walk every day. <laughs> I know what form I'm supposed to have, but a lot of people run with their body forward for some reason, and that can really cause a lot of problems. Absolutely, and, and those are things that can aggravate the plantar fasciitis as well. Some people, just because uh, it feels better, they may be doing that and not even knowing they have a structural type problem in their spine or their hips, the foundation of their, of their body, uh, may try to lean forward or back or to one side. 
Uh, again, if the hips are out of alignment, they may be running wrong, and that can predispose you to uh, groin pulls or hamstring pulls and that type of thing. Ouch. Okay, Dr. Steve Katz, thank you for joining us this morning, and congratulations on your engagement. Thank you very much. See, we know all here at CNN. I see that. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for coming in. We sure appreciate thank it. Thank you. Now for the latest on the stories in our news alert.